So, you want to learn the art of seducing an older woman, right? Well, my friend, you're at the right place. I'm about to give you the inside scoop on how to make that lovely mature lady fall head over heels for you. And I hope you're ready, because it's going to be one wild ride. Before we start though, I must applaud your excellent taste in women. I mean, here's the thing. There's a certain charm and allure that cougars have, something younger gals just can't match. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here, because you're here to learn how to seduce a cougar, right? Because trust me, I've fallen under the paws of the cougar myself. She was 8 years older than me and she was one wild cat. She does yoga, and despite her age, she was amazingly limber and acrobatic. So we could try many things we couldn't elsewhere. And that's the thing about mature women. They are eager to experiment unlike the younger gals who can be quite clueless. Ok, let's stop talking about me and start talking about you. Like my friend Derek Rake says, once you've tasted a cougar, you'll never turn back. So let's talk about how to entrap that fox that has ensnared your heart. Now here's the thing about all these younger man plus older woman relationships. There's one mistake that most guys make when they date mature women. It's the one mistake that can sabotage you and send you crashing down in flames. What's that one mistake? Well, I call it the OmniFit mistake. It's the combination of Omni, that means all or every, and Fit, which means suitability. Most dating gurus sell OmniFit advice. They'll tell you their tricks work on every woman in every situation. You're smart, and you know there's nothing that works on every woman everywhere. Most guys shoot themselves in the foot when they go OmniFit with a mature woman. They think they can use the same pickup tricks they used on an 18 year old and expect the same results with a cougar. That's stupid, because trust me, she has heard every pickup line in the book and you won't impress her with one. Now here's what to know about an older woman. They are drawn to different things. I mean, it's natural, right? With a few extra years of life experience tucked away, your perspective on things shifts. That's what maturity means. So here's what I'm saying. The regular guru and pickup tricks will never work on cougars. Do you agree with me? Take a minute and enter yes or no in the comments section below. Go on, because I'll be here. Great. Thanks. So the other day, someone claiming to know Shogun Method reached out to me on Reddit. He told me he wanted to bang a mature woman, and asked me for advice. Fredo, what's the best pickup line to use? How do I disqualify her? Do I tease her about her age? What's the best way to get her to go back to my place? Those are, of course, stupid questions to ask. No real Shoguns will ask those questions. In fact, a Shogun never goes around banging women. The truth is that the guy has zero chance of scoring a cougar. He's making the omni-fit mistake. Shoguns will never use sketchy pickup tricks on mature women. What do you use then? Two words, mind control. The reason is simple. Older women yearn for mind stimulation more than physical sensation. To a cougar, seduction is all about stimulating the mind. It's not about sex at all. This is an important point, and so I'll repeat it. Older women yearn for mind stimulation more than physical sensation. To a cougar, seduction is all about stimulating the mind. It's not about sex at all. My brothers in the Shogun Method community will, of course, be familiar with this. Derek Rake is 100% on point when he says, A woman's mind must be effed before her body. I mean, Derek can be rude, but he's right. If you want to seduce a cougar, think of her mind, not the body. Shoguns know this, and if you want to bag a cougar, you must know this too. In fact, inside Shogun Method, they have an entire roadmap on how to use mind control to seduce women in four steps. These four steps are I, R, A, and E, and Shoguns call it the I-Ray Model. There's a free book you can download at iraymodel.com if you want it. Now look, I can't teach you the whole shebang about mind control. But I can share with you one tactic today. Inside the Shogun Method Brotherhood, Shoguns call it Psyche Exploit. It's about using a woman's psychological burden to make her fall in love. Now let's be clear on this, my friends. Words like exploit and burden may carry negative connotations, sure, but let me tell you this. They're not manipulative or wicked on their own. It's all about how you wield them. Like any tool, you can use mind control for good or ill. The key lies in your intentions. Do you want her to be happy, or do you just want to bang her? 
If you want a happy ending for both of you, guess what? Mind control is simply a way to get there. Don't let anyone moralize and lecture you about what's right or wrong. You're a grown man. You're mature enough to handle this knowledge. Still, I got to warn you. What I'm about to share next may disturb some people. I'm going to talk about some hard truths that some may not be comfortable with. So, here's the final chance for you to exit this video, because once you've seen this, you can't unsee it. You'll notice it with every older woman you meet, guaranteed. Here's the deal. When women grow older, they tend to carry more psychological burden. It's like a heavy load of hurt feelings and past disappointments. Imagine if you meet an older woman who's still single. Chances are, she's been through tough relationships and had her heart broken a few times. And what those crappy experiences in love did to her? Well, they leave behind these emotional scars that she carries around with her. I know it's shitty to say this, but it's 100% true. The deeper her emotional scars, the easier it is to conquer her heart. And that's what Psyche Exploit is. An exploitation of a woman's emotional scars to make her fall in love with you. This begs the question, how do I do the Psyche Exploit? Well, this is where it gets a little heavy, so bear with me. You see, according to the Psyche Exploit theory, it all depends on how bad her emotional scars are. The deeper they are, the more addicted she is to emotional drama. Because look, every woman wants emotional drama, young and old. It's simply a matter of how badly she wants it. And guess what? The need for emotional drama for cougars is batshit insane. They are literal addicts to emotional turmoil. So here's how it's going to play out. If you can be her source of emotional drama, you win. This leads to the next question. How do I be her source of emotional drama? The answer is by using a mind control tactic we call fractionation. Fractionation, you ask? Well, let me explain it to you. It's a technique that takes a woman on a wild emotional ride. Picture this. You lead her through peaks and valleys, stirring up both ecstasy and turmoil within her. It's an emotional roller coaster, one that she experiences by your side. First, you pamper her with attention and love like she's a queen, and then you take it all away and ignore her. And you know what? Older women actually revel in it. Fractionation adds excitement to their boring existence, because trust me, growing old is dreadful for women. Fractionation supplies them with their fix of emotional drama that keeps things hot and exciting. All in all, remember, if you can fulfill a cougar's emotional cravings, she'll be yours for as long as you want. And you can do that because you're the only guy who can satisfy her need for emotional drama. She doesn't know how you do it, but you do. Your secret weapon is fractionation, your ability to reward her with emotional highs and punish her with emotional lows. Because recall, as Derek says, a woman's mind must be effed before the body. A woman's biggest sexual organ is her brain. And fractionation is ultimately a mind control sexual technique. So what do you reckon? Interesting, right? But you know what? Fractionation is intriguing, no doubt. But here's the truth I must tell you. Mind control is no easy feat. I mean, I understand that many guys like to believe that there's some hypnotic line that can make women fall in love instantly. But let me tell you, such magical solutions simply don't exist. Mind control techniques like fractionation is as close to a magic bullet as it gets. But still, it requires work to learn and master. I'll be frank here, fractionation is not for the lazy or the stupid. In fact, shoguns are the most industrious and smartest men you'll ever meet. Not only that, fractionation can be somewhat tricky to learn. Most guys screw up because they learn the wrong thing. It's not their fault because there's just so much fake information out there. Most things you read about fractionation online are fake, so beware. So here's what I recommend. If you want to learn fractionation, do this. Learn from the one and only Derek Rake, the founder of Shogun Method himself. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Why settle for second-hand crap from phony gurus when you can learn directly from Derek Rake? After all, He's the man who first taught the technique some 10 years ago. He's the ultimate OG of mind control and everyone agrees. Now look, I don't know how long the gates to the Shogun Method Brotherhood remain open. To enter today, all you need to do is to go for the Fractionation Online Masterclass at Fractionation.org. Let Derek Rigg teach you true fractionation, the mother of all mind control techniques. Even better, it's free. So, go on and register for the online masterclass at Fractionation.org if it's still online. 
You'll learn everything you need to seduce a cougar and make her surrender to you. Go there now. Either enter the URL in a new window, or click the link in the video description. Here's the URL again, fractionation.org.